Just letting you know. <laughs> Regular kind of con, you know? That's exactly what it is. I'm free. My name is Julius. I um, started Compound around August of last year with uh, Alec. My name is Alec, co founder. Me and Jules opened up in August, September. My name is Sagar. I've been working at Compound for over four months. My name is Kyle. I've been working here for six months now. My name's Fifi. I've been working here for so long, like about a week. My name's Camille, and I've been working here since September. Uh, my name is Patrick, and I have been working here since they've opened in August. My name is Arthur Narcellus, and how long have I been working at Compound? Uh, ever since August. My name is Arvin, AKA Al Fleet Barber. Uh, I started working at Compound uh, last year. My name is Maria Faye, nickname Mama Faye. I'm like the mom here, I guess, because I'm like the oldest one. <laughs> uh, so my name is Blue, and uh, I've been working at Compound since August, since we opened. Compound was a dream. It started out as a dream back when I was just cutting in the basements. And what you see now is the fruition of our dreams. I don't know if I want to answer that. Okay, well, let's go, let's go. All right. <laughs> How was your experience working on Compound so far? You know, like the vibe. Good vibes. Everything's nice. First up, this one person that works beside me. Yeah. Been quite annoying since the DJs. That is so rude. Are you talking about me? I said person. Are you? Uh, okay, uh, I don't know if she's here. <laughs> I hate you. Well, I hate you too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, when I was at your clients, Camille? Yeah, they knew that. Yeah, Can you exactly. stop dating my clients? It's not my fault, they're coming to me. Oh. <laughs> Everything that's gonna happen today, what do you expect? Well, so far I had a no-show, so... That's nice, and probably expecting another no-show in a couple minutes, so... <sighs> this job. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. All right, Alec. <laughs> oh my God, you get the hell out of here, man. How did you come to you know, work at Compound in the first place? Alec invited me to this shop. Well, at first I've been cutting at home and then I came here to get a haircut and then this guy asked me for a, if I can work here. So I was like, that's a lie. He actually begged me. Bro, what the f Yo, okay, that's a lie. And yeah, and then. He's been begging me since day one. So <laughs> Man, bro. Stop bugging me, man. Yo, that's not true. All right, make me feel good, yo. Eh. Wait, what the? What's going on here, bro? Hair wash, bro. Yo, the client's literally giving the barber a hair wash. Yo, you're fired, eh? Last day. Pack your shit. Pack your shit. So, how was your experience working in compound Oh man, I love it here. You get to meet so much. People. I went to the club one time and I remember a bunch of guys that just came up to me and then they were like, bro, let me give you some shots, man. I was just like, whoa, okay. I don't even know who they are, but I guess they're like one of like Alex or J Jules or clients or something, but man, they knew me. So I'm sorry, but I don't know your name, bro, if you're watching this, but thanks for the shots. So how did you come to working at um, Alec and Jules just like begged me to come here. I'm just kidding. Sorry. I'm just kidding. Um, Camille actually reached out to me when she found out I was unemployed, and so yeah, I've been talking to Alec about it for a while, and now I'm here. What kind of services do you do? Um, I do basically everything. Uh, women's color, men's color, men's cuts, women's cuts. I do perms. 
What is the vibe in here that you like? Um, it's fun. Everybody is really encouraging of each other. Shut up, man! Um, everybody is really encouraging of each other. Shut <laughs> up! Okay. I've always liked doing hair since I was a kid. Uh, I thought I was going to do like traditional Asian thing and go to nursing school. But I was like, no, never mind. So I saved up money until I went to school and then I just got it over with. And now I'm here. I specialize in women's hair, specifically coloring. Uh, so balayage, blonding, uh, highlights, anything with foil work I do. Uh, but I specialize usually in Asian hair and dark hair. So how did you come to working at Compact? Uh, I actually worked with uh, Jules and Alec before. We worked at Alex's barbershop and like probably known them for like a couple years before Compound. So Compound, it's great. It's a sick shop. It's good atmosphere, good vibes, and yeah, it's a fun place to work. So yeah, talk about the team a little. Like. I love Camille. Yeah. Wow. And Ma. Me! <laughs> and I guess Patrick. Talk about Arpit. It's a piece of shit. Talk about Paolo. He's a nice guy, but he likes to touch people a lot, so I don't know about that. Huh? Huh? Talk about Cigar. Cigar? He was talking shit, huh? Well, Cigar, big ass beard. Doesn't even look good. F you, Cigar. Suck my nuts. Yeah, I was like, I learned a lot in here. Because uh, I was planning to go back to uh, go, go to school for uh, like, uh, to get my hairstyle thing. But here they just teach me. So, I think I'm good now. <laughs> the team's like a family, you know? Like we all just hang out. Like uh, it doesn't feel like work with all these guys here. Jules and Alec, for sure, they've been the biggest mentors in my life, blue included. Trying to get my name out there, especially being a female in this industry with so many men around, it's, it's very hard to compete. Them encouraging me to just keep pushing, keep pushing, and just getting my name out there. It brought me a lot of confidence in myself, and uh, yeah. So what exactly do you specialize in? Um, I uh, started off doing men's cuts. Men's, men's haircuts uh, mostly. And then ever since I went into hair school at MC College, I started doing women's cuts, women's color, perms, braids, kind of everything, really. So what do you do exactly? Uh, I am the payroll and operations manager, as well as now I'm the COVID enforcer too. So uh, anybody walking in here without a mask, I'm gonna kick them out. Other than compound, what do you do like in a regular day? Normally, uh, I sit in my house and I stare at the wall. <laughs> and if I'm not staring at the wall, then I'm uh, cooking food and then I eat. If you walk in here, you don't have an appointment, I'm kicking you out. You're leaving. You're not staying. Uh, also, sanitize your hands when you come in, if you do have an appointment. And then don't touch anything, please. Don't touch anything. If you need to go to the bathroom, go outside. Don't dap people. Don't give people daps. Just touch your elbows or something, man. How did you manage to find like everyone that's here today? I used to work at Alex Barbershop and you know I would see some young barbers up and coming. Of course there's a select few that I could tell were serious. First was there's um, Blue and there's Alec and that was kind of like the the first you know the OG3 you know. Started cutting in my basement for free and then Jules was cutting my hair at the time, they were like, yeah, I need someone to help me out at the shop, the one he was working at, at Alex's barbershop. And then I came in as his apprentice, and then, yeah, the rest is history, man. The rest of the team, let's say, like, Arthin, the barber, Arvin, Sagar, these were, like, barber homies that we always kind of connected with. And eventually, when we opened up the shop, they were down to join the team. Alec wants to televise his elves, so let's make it happen. <laughs> oh, all right. Jules, he's been playing a long time. Where, where's Jules? <laughs> he's outside. Yo, he's been playing Smash Bros since day one. He's been playing the same character since day one. 
and then he brings his switch to the shop and then all of a sudden I start playing it I, I just learn quick I'm kind of worried about his speed but I'm gonna just keep my distance Yeah, yeah. Anyone else want to challenge me in this game? Just come through the compound. I'll show you what's up, you know? Pay you for money. No money. Got you, bro. Daddy, I'm hungry. She's very hungry. <laughs> you want some white tea? <laughs> I have yogurt. You want yogurt? No, I want that for too. <laughs> what if. Oh, man. Camille, sorry. I forgot your order. Oh, my God. What would you do? Is that Sam Free? Sam Free! Oh. He's a brown guy though. Bro, don't, don't, don't go around screaming Sam Free to random brown. Yeah, gonna bro, that's fing racist. Oh, oh, I got a text message. Sam Free, be there in three. Oh, three minutes, guys! Woo! Three more minutes! <laughs> Hey, bro. Yo, shout out Sam Free. You know, he's here twice a week, and the second time he comes, he brings food. Oh, the barbecue. oh my god! Woo! Thank you, Sam Free. Sam Free, you're the bomb. Thank you, Sam Free, for the vegan food. Thank you, Sam Free, for this good, delicious food that you have delivered us today. Thanks, Sam Free. Thanks, Free. Thank you, Sam Free. We love you. Thank you for feeding us. Thank you, Sam Free. When you bought it, you bought the game on release date. Yeah. And who won? What's happened since? <laughs> don't forget. Don't don't forget your L. That's okay. Yeah, I'll shake on it right now, it doesn't matter. $200. $200 <laughs> I really need $200 if you win. I really need that money. <laughs> oh my god. Where are you at, bro? He's defending champs. <laughs> Man, you make Alex look good. <laughs> Shit, that was a big play. Let's go! You went with it. Alright, you can show him the final score. At least you won by 50. Talk about compound? I've been getting cut by Alex and Jules probably the last almost four years. To see them open up a shop, uh, I'm just happy for my boys and the rest of the team. Uh, I'm just a brand and marketer, I think, uh, ambassador. I heard you're in the payroll. Well, I don't know if I'm on the payroll, I'm the one paying the role. Uh, so. Yo, man, Preet, wanna give me a high five? He really winds back on that. He left the red mark. How's yours? Purple. <laughs> oh, bro, it's the hand right here. And then it's this one right here. And then red over here. And then just snapping it back with this. No! <laughs> <laughs> ah! You, wait, I spilled my coffee, man! Look what you did! Traded shirts with Arthur because I felt bad I got coffee on the shirt. So I told him he could wear mine. He could wear my shirt now. <laughs> we gotta imitate that photo now. I'm like a rock. The rock. Like the rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. Who do I look like though? I'll give you one guess. Wait, I gotta do the same pose. Hold on. Why should they even come to Compound, bro? Tell them. Why they should come to Compound? Tell them, bro. Honestly, man, customer service, it's like five star. Give like, a, massage, give you know what I'm saying? Like, customer service. Oh, shit. EJ, is that you? <laughs> but yeah, customer service, bro, like, very professional. These guys are like, not, like, you're not their customer, you know? You guys are like family, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. What about you, bro? Other people, yeah. Okay, well, I guess not me, but that's 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 my experience. <laughs> this guy. Oh, you guys better check uh, Compound Cut Club. 
if you guys want like fresh haircut, uh, if you guys want good uh, brotherhood, and of course there's some sister series as well. Uh, but if you like the, that uh, barber barber culture, you guys better check this out. It's a fun place to get a haircut and just like to you know like chat around and stuff like that. Everyone here is f***ing bombs from what I've heard. Uh, I just like usually just go to the same guy all the time, but I know he was on vacation or something. I could literally just choose anyone here. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. so I'm actually by trade like music producer and mastering engineer. So yeah, I basically make music, finish music, work with other artists. Uh, you can just, through my Instagram, uh, it's just Kenzen Official. Um, you can hit me up in DMs anytime. The vibe at the shop is very friendly. Um, everything is really clean, so you, you feel safe coming here. Uh, my shop is the Come Up YEG. Uh, we sell vintage clothing and high East streetwear. 103. Uh, 59 82nd Avenue. Uh, stop by when you have a chance. If they wanted to book you, uh, just on Booksy. You can just book haircut, beard, and uh, hair wash with me. Just book me through Booksy. And there, if you wanna have a consultation first, if you're not sure about how long your hair is for braids or perms, message me on Instagram, Mama Fades. Uh, you have to hit me up on Instagram. I'm not on Booksy. So just at Arcilla Camille on Instagram. If you want to book me, you can hit me up. Just message me on my Instagram. Um, you can, if you have my number, you can just text me, and you can do it online at compoundcupclub.com. You just gotta see the value in this brand. It's more than just a haircut. We're family. You come here, you're a family. Compound family. I think it's good, bro. Yes, sir.